Jay Z caught some flack. Um, he was talking about he was talking with Kevin Hart, and Kevin Hart was had said mm -hmm. that it was it's a difficult conversation to have with cousins. And Jay Z said, "Yeah, we go to your aunt's house, or you go to your mom's house, and your cousins over, and mm -hmm. they're pitching you. Hey, bro, I got this great idea. I need forty eight hundred, and I'm gonna get Ooh. you two mil back." Yeah. And so people, and then everybody started listing. Uh, Jeff Bezos got a loan from his father, and Bill and and, and uh, uh, Bill Gates got a loan from his father, mm -hmm. and the Walton family got a loan from his dad. Blah mm -hmm. blah blah. Ain't nobody mentioned nothing about no cousins. All they mentioned about was kids getting loans from their. Now I guarantee you. Your now parents. I don't know the name. I don't know parents. the name of Jay Z twins, but I know the oldest daughter is named Blue Ivy. I mm -hmm. guarantee you, if Blue Ivy went to her dad, went to mm -hmm. her mom, and said, mm -hmm. "Mom, Dad." Look what I've been trying. This is what I need to do. And I need a little extra capital to mm -hmm. get this thing really, really going. I yeah. don't think Ho, I don't think Bay is going to have a problem. I'm saying Bay, Beyonce. I'm not saying Bay. So right, right, I don't right. want to be disrespectful to that man. Beyonce mm -hmm. uh, is going to say no. So uh, Sam Walton, Jeff Bezos, Phil Knight, Elon Musk, Donald Trump, Mark Zuckerberg all Their got kids. capital. For Thank you. It's family. I ain't say nothing about cousins. cousins. Now, go back and look at Jay-Z's history. He's taking care of his mom. He's mm -hmm. taking care of his brothers and sisters. In, I, immediate, I, immediate, immediate family. He got a home, he uh, uh, got a homeboy named Ty Ty that I've heard him speak glowingly mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Y'all need listen, it would be nice if Hove wanted had some first cousins, some second cousins, or mm -hmm. third cousins, or what we that's what we call dog kin. You're closer mm -hmm. clean to a St. Bernard than you have that third yeah. or fourth cousin. But I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> that we call dog kid down south. But anyway, and, and so if that would be nice, if Jay-Z said, you know what? Hey, I want to break y'all off. But Jay-Z is under, under no obligation. Nation. I don't care. Well, if I had a billion dollars, that's probably why you couldn't get to a billion dollars because you giving away you money give away, that you yeah. don't have. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing, this is the funny thing about family. This is a funny thing about family. It's a funny thing about friends. Everybody always has an idea. Yes. Everybody has, or everybody always has this idea on how to make money, but they need your money in order to do it. Right. They always need your money to do it. But one, half the time, they don't think these plans and, and ways to make money out. There's no, there's no business plan to it. It's just right. an idea in your head. Right, and, and soon as soon as you, they bring your idea and you ask them, "Well, show me a business plan and show me how you let me see your deck. Let me see your deck. See something. Never have anything to show for. It's right. just a thought. It's just a thought. And and something about our people is we really have no respect or value for a dollar. No, at all. And you have an at expectation, all. and you automatically expect because we think, oh, if I make it. I, I'm supposed to bring everybody, all twenty, all three hundred and seventy-five of my closest kin. That and, and it don't all, work and, like that. And People, all and all three, all three hundred seventy-five would be broke. Yes, and all, then everybody. Ocho, it trips me out when people you like you you try to help everybody. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden you go broke. Man, I don't mm -hmm. know how he lost all that money. All that. Giving it to you, mofos. That's yeah. how I lost all my money. Yeah. I'm helping you with car payment. Mm -hmm. I'm helping you with your kids. I'm helping you with house note. I'm helping you do all this other stuff. And then when I go broke, now y'all looking at me crazy. Yeah. Listen, the, one of the fastest ways to go broke is not learning how to stay, say no. It's oh. normally family. It's normally family. That will continue to drain you. Sometimes it's a close to your closest relatives. Sometimes it's your own mom, it's your own daddy. Sometimes yeah, you yeah. got to know you got to know how to how to deal with them at arm's length when they right. don't have structure and discipline. That is the most dangerous thing for young athletes or for anyone that has money in general. They will continue to drain you over and over. When you give them once, they are gonna come back when they run out. Yeah, you, it, somebody, it, you, it. you get you 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 get somebody five grand. All you doing. If 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 you oh, if you take oh, if you take man, oh, Joe, don't, don't get me you started, get somebody bro. five grand, man, man, you making five six million dollars. What's what's ten grand to you, Shit. bro? That's five thousand more than you started with. That's yeah. a thousand more than you started mm -hmm. with. You over here mm -hmm. counting my pocket, my, my, talking about yeah. all that money I'm making. Mm -hmm. Considering that you came to me asking for mm -hmm. money, you should be grateful. And I'm yeah. giving you the money with no expectation of Thank you returning you. it. Cause yeah. that's normal. That's what I do. I'm never going to give somebody money that I'm expecting it mm -hmm. back. 
because all it's going to do is going to call us to it's going to cause me to lose it's going to cause our friendship, friendship. or our our our, our relate or our kinship mm -hmm. it's going to cause a friction because Always. if I give you money and I expect it back and you don't pay me, now I'm not going to see everybody always wants you to, man, man, that little bit of money. Now it's a little bit of money. money when I want yeah. you to pay it back, it's a little yeah. bit of money. Bit of you money, didn't yeah. say that when you came and asked me for it. You didn't mention yeah. nothing about no little piece of money. That little bit of money. Hey, man, let me hold a little bit of money. You you ask me, let me borrow a thousand. Let me hold five thousand. I ain't got no problem with that. Yeah. I'm gonna get, I have in the past, my uncles and aunts, I went to the Sioux A. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Man, I had an uncle. Every time my homeboy, my homeboys and friends come around, man, you know, I used to change diapers on that boy. <laughs> Ocho, man, don't laugh, Ocho. Every Ocho, every time he I come around, my homeboys not, and my not friends the old, come not the old school story. Man, man, you know, I changed. So I pulled him to the side. I gave him thirty five hundred dollars. I said, Don't yeah. tell that damn story no more now. Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. Ass. See, you laughing, Ocho, but I'm dead serious. I said, don't tell that story no more now. Yeah. So that's that's the end of that story. But I I go to the Super Bowl and I come back. Mm -hmm. I give my mom had eight brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. All of them was married. I come home five thousand for you. The hook, even though if it's not, but you know they they my they my relative through through my through you know through my mom. Right. I get I give my her sisters. I get a husband. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Boom boom boom. Okay, you wasn't going to the game because me when it came to the Super Bowl, the right. first time you see me play wasn't going to be in the Super Bowl. If you hadn't seen a preseason game, a regular right. season game, or a playoff right. game, and you think the first time that you're going to see me play, you coming it's to the be big in the show? Damn Super Bowl, ain't uh, ain't happening. That that ain't happening. But man, people need to stop this. They mm -hmm. think, man, if I had a billion dollars, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. People always say what they would do because they've never been in that situation. Ocho. Situation. And the, the funny thing about it, another thing we need to learn: we have no, no, no structure, no discipline when it comes to spending money. We have the mindset is I'm gonna blow a bag and go make it right back. And always mm -hmm. think it's, it don't work and, like and always, that. Listen, and always think that every play, that play that you always doing, or whatever hustle that may be, it ain't gonna always hit. It no. ain't gonna always be hitting. Whatever it is that you may be doing, whether it's whether it's something good or whether it's something bad, it ain't gonna always hit the way you think it is. Just the, our mindset and the way we think, man. There's no type of discipline when it comes to spending money, and they always got an idea. Everybody always had this wonderful idea on a way to make money. But never have none of their own. No, always. <laughs> like I said, and, and, and when people are like, well, what you gonna do for your kids? My kids will tell you. You go ask any of my kids; they're gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm dead is I'm I'm dead is the last option, yeah. not the first choice. Because mm -hmm. I get, I sent you to private school. I sent you mm -hmm. to college. Okay, yeah. now if you can't figure it out, let's mm -hmm. talk about it. Now, right. don't go make a mistake and then come ask daddy to bail you out because mm -hmm. you should have asked daddy first. Right. Because, you know, a lot of times I'm grown. You know what I noticed? My kids are always grown when it comes except with money. Mm -hmm. They ain't grown when it comes to money. When it yeah. comes to money, you know, I, you, I'm daddy little girl. I'm, <laughs> I'm daddy little boy. Whoa. Yeah. You, you say yeah. you could drink and you could curse and you could do all mm -hmm. this stuff, but now you need some money. You ain't grown no more. Yeah. But yeah, I'm kinda, my, my, I'm kinda... kids, my kids have been very, very good. But mm -hmm. they know I'm last option, not mm -hmm. first choice. Now we're gonna sit down and talk about it, and I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna help. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna right. help them out once because right. my kids are knock on wood. They've never been a. Because I say if you ever get in trouble, you get a DUI. Mm -hmm. I already know my kids will tell you if you were to get a DUI, what you go who the first. Don't, I'm not calling my dad. I'm gonna <laughs> tell my mom not to tell my dad because I'm gonna right. be in the pen right. I'm gonna be in the pen right next to you, <laughs> but for a whole different reason. So they already know. And <laughs> my man, hey, look, Listen. I I, I <laughs> work my tail off because a lot of right. what I do is for for the kids and the grandkids. Right. My son right. has I have a grandson, but uh, you know, hopefully, knock on wood, my daughter's gonna get married and have kids. And so what I'm working hard for now is to start it. Mm -hmm. because you know my mom and dad and my grandparents didn't have anything to leave me but right. i'm gonna leave my kids and kids 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 right. well well off right. they're gonna be straight 
Now, right. I'm not gonna say they're gonna be as as, as business minded as I am, and, and, right. and every shiny toy that comes along, mm -hmm. like I want this new card, I want that, because eventually, if y'all don't do the right things, the business is gonna go away, the money's gonna dissipate. It's gonna, it's gonna run away, yeah, yeah, but, it's gonna disappear. But I, I, I understand what Jay, and, and it's only people that's in that situation that mm -hmm. have money, and I don't have nearly the money that Jay Z has, mm -hmm. or 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 Kevin Hart, of any, or any of these people that that were mentioned. Mm -hmm. But you have to say no, Ocho. You're absolutely right. You have to be willing to say no and be okay with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't. I, I don't think people understand. I don't. I don't think people understand how difficult it is to navigate having large sums of money, especially when you've had it for a while, or, or just being a rookie for that matter, or just coming to coming into your own, or, or coming into money and having all these new friends. You have all these new friends, all this pressure, and, and wanting to fit in. You think. You 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 given in in all, all of the I call it trans transactional access. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't need you don't need you don't need nobody. You don't need you don't need the entourage because every time you see an entourage, it's only one person really got money. Yeah, and you and you got and then you got to feed you got the, you got to feed all them different mouths, man. I just it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. I mean, we could talk about that topic. I can go on and on and on. But you know, when it, when it comes to financial literacy, that that's that's my thing. Yeah, that, I'm I'm on that. I'm on that. <laughs> I, cause I I remember a couple of years ago there was an article that came out that I think Dr. Dre daughter he was mm -hmm. taking care of her. He was mm -hmm. financially supporting her, right. and I think she had lost a Range Rover. Uh, mm -hmm. after her four, she had four kids, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I, I just know. I think it was a couple of different dads. I don't want to say four different baby dads, but I think maybe one or two different dads. And people like man, Jay Z. Uh, uh, excuse me, Dr. Dre has all that money. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dre is not under an obligation. Mm -hmm. All I, you know what I told my kids, Ocho? I say all I owe you is an education. Mm. I don't owe you anything else. I'm not, I, I could die right. and leave everything that I've worked my butt off to you, but I don't owe you that. I owe you an education to get mm -hmm. you the best education I possibly can to mm -hmm. get you started. After that, this notion that you owe your kids. You see the problem. You know why? You know we made lazy kids. You know why we mm. made lazy kids? Because in our mind, we want them to have it easier than what we had it. Right. You well, wouldn't I, have gotten that, to where you got. You wouldn't have gotten to where you. If your mom would have babied you like mm -hmm. you do some of your kids, you're not right. Ocho Cinco. I'm damn mm -hmm. sure not Shannon Sharp. Right. That that's a good one, and that 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 that's a very touchy subject too. That's a very touchy subject because some of the times I've seen it on Twitter before. Um, Jackie Chan, when he talked mm -hmm. about his wealth, and he said, yeah. "I wasn't leaving. He wasn't leaving any of his fortune to his kids." And just watching Twitter go going uproar, all parents always want their kids to suffer, so they ain't have to. I'm like, and so that that that's a touchy subject. As as far as when it when it comes to my kids, they know if they need anything, I'm the first and the last option. You know, if you have somewhere to go, it's okay. But if you need it. You know you can call now. If it's something extreme and out the blue, you already know it's not happening. We talk about <laughs> we talk about important stuff. We talk about necessities, not wants. Now the wants, we we'll do those things around the holidays. You know, Christmas, birthdays, we will take care of your wants then. But anything that's a necessity that you need, they know they can call at any time. But that that's that's a very oh, so touchy, you, that's a very touchy subject. What you just said, very very touchy. But you notice everybody always have ideas how you should spend your money. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody got great ideas with your money, yeah. man. I would do this. I would do that. No, you, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's easy to say because I remember I, my brother had money before I had it, and I couldn't right. understand. Man, you got money, man. What that? I used to leave the door wide open. He like, bro, are you trying to cool? Are you trying to heat the outside also? Man, all that <laughs> money you got. He said, you right, man. Man, my kid, what going to do? <laughs> Leave that door, let this air, let this heat up out of this house. What the hell wrong with y'all? I don't own my, Georgia Power. And, my, and my, you you have a greater appreciation for it mm -hmm, yeah. when it's yours, when it's right. coming out of your pockets. And mm -hmm. now you want people to understand it and respect it and okay. value it like you will. do. That's the never hardest will. thing to get somebody to value things. But it's hard to value something that you didn't you didn't buy you didn't create or work you for. don't own or you didn't yeah. work for it's yeah. hard